Hey everyone, Rich at Rivera Urban Homestead. Today I'm going to do a pH and nutrient test on my soil in the garden. So what I did is I went to every bed that I have, dug down about six to eight inches, grabbed a sample of the soil, put it in a bag, mixed it all together, and now we're going to do this home test that you can buy at the garden store. So let me do the test, I'll read the directions, get the test all done, and then we'll come back with the results and see what we have to do to amend that soil in the garden for better production. Okay guys, so the test is done. Here's my different samples. Let's look at them. Let's start with the pH. As you can see, my sample is pretty green, which is showing a pH somewhere between seven and eight on the scale. So seven and eight, it's a little high on the pH. Next one is nitrogen. And nitrogen is really good for the greening up of the plants, for the chlorophyll and the photosynthesis to happen. It needs good nitrogen. My nitrogen is actually looking pretty good. It's showing kind of like medium on the nitrogen scale. So nitrogen looks good in there actually. Next is the phosphorus, which is good for growth of the root system. I'm thinking that looks pretty good as well. Kind of almost in the medium. Maybe a little low. Last one is the potassium, which is looking like it's high. It's high. The lighter the shade of the cloudiness, the higher it is. So, literally, I think I have, for some reason, too much potassium. The way we can lower some, or get a little more acidity in there, is to actually use some peat moss. I know I have not been using peat moss in the uh, garden. I've been using the cocoa coir. Not quite sure how that affects it. So we might go buy us a thing of peat moss and mix that into our, our solution to amend the soil later. So all right, let's get a game plan together as far as what we're gonna do to the garden soil to make everything come in line. All right guys, so after doing a little research on this, lowering the pH in the soil, a lot of people recommend just adding more organic compost, composted manures, just organic compost. So we're gonna get some organic compost. I'm gonna get some of the black cow manure and I'll look at any other organic compost they might have. Potassium lowering that, it mainly talks about what fertilizers you're using in the soil. Now, I use all organic stuff that isn't high in any of those n the numbers that you're used to, the 10, 10, 10, or whatnot. The organic soil or organic fertilizers are less of an impact on that. But again, they also say it could be due to the compaction of the soil and that potassium gets locked in there. So they say to just kind of loosen up your soil a little, maybe water it in to flush out some of that potassium, and again, adding organic compost. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a little, one of those hand-like tiller things, not the mechanical, just to stick in and you turn them. I'll show you, I'll go buy one at Lowe's. Um, we're gonna loosen up my soils and all my beds. I'm gonna take a top layer off of all of the beds, mix it all together in a place that way I can top off my other beds with it. We're gonna add some of that organic potting soil I have, some of that peat moss. We're gonna do the peat moss because it is acidic. So I want that pH to get lowered some. So we're gonna add peat moss, we're gonna add the organic potting soil, and we're gonna add black cow manure. Load that up with the top of those, mix it in, and I think we should be good to go. So let's get to Lowe's and get some product. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go see what I got at Lowe's. I'm so happy right now. Lowe's literally made my day because they are finally starting to get some organic mixtures in. Look at what I got. Organic raised bed mix. Sustainable ingredients. Got the Omri listed. No synthetic additives. I am so happy they are getting organic stuff in. So I got four bags of that. 
six bags of the black cow, two big bags of the peat moss, we are going to supercharge our garden beds, guys. Oh, and... There's that tiller I got. Be cool little handheld tiller. So yeah, we are ready to get these beds supercharged and ready to plant. Organic. I love it. Alright guys, so anyway, here is what I'm going to do tomorrow. It's a little windy, so hopefully you can hear me. All these beds, all these boxes, this bed, I'm going to take about six, six inches out. All of the leaves and stuff I'm going to rake up, I'm going to put them in the compost pile. I'm going to take the top layer of all of these beds off, about six inches. And we're going to reincorporate the cow manure, the, the mixes that we got from Lowe's. These containers I have, I have one container, two containers, three containers. We're going to dump them together. And we're going to fill up that cement bed right there, or the cinder block bed. We're going to get that filled up with soil. So anyway, actually here is the uh, garden right now. Still a whole bunch of kale. Hishido bunching onions doing great. The little lime tree that I planted from a seed looking good. Another set of cucumbers. We're going to not water them on the leaves this time. We're just watering the soil. I think that cabbage is about ready to get harvested, but we're going to clean it all out and then we're going to incorporate all that new soil we put in, take off the top layer, till it up a little, and hopefully we'll be good to go. So as you can see, I took out quite a bit out of these little ones. I just want to put new stuff in there because they're just small containers. So I've grown tomatoes in them and stuff. It just really takes out a lot of nutrients. So we took out quite a bit out of these. I dug as much as I could out there without disturbing the kale, of course. So now let's go mix up the blend and refill these at least to start. Before I add anything to it, let's try out the new tiller here. It actually works really good in ripping up any roots. Tilling. All right, so I got some of the bags here, guys. What I'm going to do is mix up one bag of the uh, raised bed mix, one bag of the cow manure, maybe a half of one of these. Mix that into the wheelbarrow, and then we'll get it all. Uh, Incorporated into these boxes. Thank you for giving my dirt. What is that, Daddy? Alright guys, so I pretty much got the boxes 
filled up. I left a couple of inches because what I'm going to do is I'm going to top him all off with the black cow manure. But this is a mixture of the black cow manure, that raised bed organic mix, and the peat moss. So it's all nice and incorporated, all nice and mixed together. Top these off with the black cow manure, add my azomite rock dust, and some of my organic granular fertilizer. And these beds should be ready to roll, man. Let me use this organic chicken manure granular fertilizer. And of course, as might rock dust, trace minerals. Okay guys, I don't know if the camera's gonna do it justice, but my beds look beautiful. Look at that. Nice, clean, amended with new black cow, potting organic, raised bed mix. I dumped these, filled them up with new stuff. Topped off the cucumbers with a little bit of nice black cow. They are ready to plant, guys. Look at how pretty. Most of the stuff that I took out of there, I put into this bed that I haven't really used much. I added some peat moss to that. The cinder block bed. Ready to roll. I mean, garden looks super clean. I'm so ready. Alright guys, so we got a lot of good work done today. Got those beds all nice and amended. Got the new soil put in. They're all nice and level. Hopefully we get some good production. For instance, these carrots here, I got a ton of these, right? I just picked them all. Look at how tiny they are. These are already are supposedly at mature date. So Definitely something, something going on there in the in the beds that just is not producing a lot. I'm not here to make the biggest stuff, but I wouldn't mind getting some carrots a little bigger than these. But they're still going to taste good. We're going to cut them up and we're going to have them with dinner tonight. They'll be like uh, steamed baby carrots, so it's all good. But definitely a good day today. I'm really glad that I got that done. And I'm looking forward to next week I have a full work week. And then the week after that I am on vacation. So I will try and get some stuff planted. I don't know if you can see behind me. I do have some stuff growing there. Peppers, tomatoes. Not quite ready to go out yet. But they will be soon. These little carrots are nuts, how small they are. I don't know why they didn't grow very big. But, we're going to eat them anyway. So you guys have a good day, good rest of the weekend, and we will talk to you on the next one.